what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Pin My PC. Now this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out your PC, but above all make it cool. Now today we're going to revisit that Windows 7 login page pimp. And I got a couple more tweaks I want to show you guys. We're going to compile some scripts, so let's get started. All right, now the first thing I want to show you guys is my login screen. I was doing some research over the weekend and this really, really bugged me. So we're just going to go control alt delete and bring that up for us. Now, as you can see, I've got my custom login page here, all right? Now, I've got a pink stormtrooper here, and you would think that would be the center of my attention, but unfortunately, my eye is immediately drawn to that stupid Windows 7 branding down at the bottom, and to a lesser extent, that ease of access button to the left. Well, I wanted to get rid of those, did some research, found a way to do it, so we're going to show you how to do that right now. So we'll just cancel that, get back in. Now, the way we're going to do that is through a program called Resource Hacker, and it's a sweet little free app. Uh, it's no longer in development, but it still works just fine, so we'll bring it up right now. And uh, this is basically where you're going to grab it. Basically, what I would suggest doing is just go to Google, type in Resource Hacker. It's going to pop up, and this will be the first site for you. You just download it from here. All right, so now what we want to do is open up Resource Hacker, get to the meat of this pimp. So we're just going to do that right now. I'm just going to go to my Start, open Resource Hacker. Now we're just going to go to File. Now what you would do normally here is you're going to go Open, and what you're going to look for is the AUTHUI.DLL, which is your authorization user interface. So basically when you go to your login page and all you see all that crap on that page, that's where you're going to make all these tweaks, and that's where all that's happening is in this DLL file. So uh, it's not that long of a path. I'm just going to get my man Maddie to flash that up for me right now. You guys are going to go to that. I've been to this recently, so I got a little bit of a cheat here. So I've actually got mine right now. So we're just going to open it. You'll see on the left, Resource Hacker has all the sources there. So next we're going to do is we're going to go to View, and we're going to say Find Next, because uh, if you've ever taken a look at a script, you guys know how convoluted it is. Needle in a haystack, understatement, this is the way to find it. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for branding. And the reason we're doing that is because when you see the login page and you see Windows 7, that's their brand. We want to get rid of that. So we're going to put in uh, parentheses, capital B, branding in the parentheses. We're going to say Find Next, and that's going to take us exactly to where we need to be in the tweak. No sense for looking for that needle in that haystack, right? It's right there. So now once we're there, we're just going to make, uh, make our code tweak here. And what we're going to pop in is uh, layout position, or layout POS, which stands for position. I thought it meant something else altogether, but I was completely wrong. So we're just going to pop that in now. So we're going to say layout uh, POS equals quote none, end quote. And then what we'll do is we'll compile our script so we can go ahead and save that change. And then the next thing we're going to do is look for accessibility, because I kind of want to get rid of that, too, because I really just want my eye drawn to the pink stormtrooper and nothing else. And uh, do with that what you will. So we're just going to basically do the, uh, the same thing we did for the branding, except we're going to look for accessibility. So we're just going to pop that in. And say Find Next, and that'll take us right back to accessibility. Now it's a little bit different here. You'll see that the uh, you'll see here that there's a layout uh, POS equals left, and that's where the accessibility button is. Really quick tweak here. We're going to say none where it says left. We're just going to make that a none, and then we're going to compile our script. So that's done. So now the next thing you want to do is save your script, right? So we're just going to save as, and we're just going to save this to my desktop just to make it easy. And I'm just going to name it the, uh, the same thing that we named it uh, before. So that's authui.dll, and that's going to be on my desktop. So we'll say save. So that's done. So you can pretty much log out of uh, Resource Hacker. You no longer need that. And then what we're going to do is go to the actual system file itself. And you do that by going to uh, your start, go to computer, your C drive, going to head over to Windows, and then into our System32 folder. Seems convoluted, guys, but you'll have this done in five minutes tops. No worries. Now, in that System32 is where that DLL file is, uh, is kept. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to drag our DLL file over. And you'll see the options that we get. Now, what I found is uh, you know, we always try to teach you to keep uh, backup files of your system files just in case something messes up. You don't have to reformat. And I certainly don't want you to complain to me about that because, man, I would feel so bad if I had to fix all of your operating systems. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move but keep both files, and you'll see why in a second. So we'll say uh, continue once we get those admin prompts. So now you'll see uh, in here that AUTH file, you'll see there's a 2 there now. So what I'm going to do is right click on my original file, and we're just going to rename that to AUTH UI backup. And that way we know that our system file is good to go in case we ever need it again. 
And then the other thing we're going to do is rename the one that we just copied over and make that our primary file. And to do that, all we have to do is just remove that two. Make sure I got my dot in there, and we'll save it. And that's done. So all the hard part's done, so now you get to just sit back and enjoy the magic. So if I hit Control-Alt-Delete, my branding is gone. You see nothing at the bottom there. And toward the left here, ease of access is gone. Now I left my shutdown button on here because that can actually be of use. And uh, now my eye is immediately drawn to that pink stormtrooper and nothing else. So take that, Windows. No offense. Love you. That's today's show, guys. Make sure you check out the show notes at butterscotch.com. And remember, Pippin ain't easy, but registering the next domain name with Hover.com is. Make sure you check out that promo code at the bottom of the screen and use it the next time you register your next domain name. I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya!